was an away day of all away days, one net doing the double over Bristol City. Absolutely phenomenal performance, absolutely phenomenal away end as well. And it's time to make it three out of three coming up against the Huddersfield sides today, who are in a bit of a relegation battle themselves. However, if they sort of keep up to where they are, they'll be all right this season. But they are in that precarious position where a few uh, teams are hovering around really on the same points, aren't they? But but Team News has just come out fairly pretty sure it's about what I would have done as well. So Horvath in goal, NG, Gutas, Phillips and Wilson Esbrand at the back. And then a midfield three of Rolls, Winsel and David Turnbull with Grand Bowler and Jeju up front. This is a massive opportunity for Jeju tonight, especially with the way that he started his Cardiff City career. He needs to hit the ground running tonight. And then a bench of Turner, Romeo, Collins, Stropis, Tanner, O'Dowda, Ruben Corwell, Mate and Kian Ashford as well. But yeah, another massive midweek game tonight. We can make it three out of three and then no defeats in four matches, which is very good for us. We need to get some momentum as well. We got two very difficult fixtures against Ipswich and Swansea next Saturday as well coming up. So it's time to get the momentum and keep pushing. So let's do it. Thoughts on today then? Well, tough match following that amazing victory <laughs> against the Wurzels on Saturday. Still walking on sunshine, as they say, walking on cloud yeah. with that. But uh, yeah, Huddersfield, uh, there are a whole clutch of clubs at the, near the bottom, aren't they all? I think there's just a few points separating about seven or eight clubs down there. All doing well, all picking up wins. Huddersfield, Sheffield Wednesday have some, some like four wins on the bounce now. Yeah, QPR Sheffield Wednesday look winning. fantastic. So they're going to be fighting for them like their lives, Huddersfield. They're, they're, the, the lineup tonight is probably what I was expecting. Atete, of course, injured. So Jesus really got to show what he's all about tonight. I know he hasn't looked fit really, but hopefully you'll add you know, more minutes. Hopefully he can show us uh, something tonight. Hopefully he'll get a goal. In midfield, I would probably kept the same midfield as we had on Saturday. Apart from that, though, uh, good to see Grant back. O'Dowder on the bench, so got to be looking at three points, but I think it's going to be very, very difficult this evening. We're not playing fully flowing at the moment. You know, we have spats in games or halves in games, but hopefully we can put a, a, a 90 minutes performance in this evening and get the three points. <laughs> That's a lovely turn ball. Ah, come on. Well done. Well, complacency City, come on. Oh, my God. Say, USA, USA. Oh, we're in as France, come on. Ah, lucky. Come on, come on. He's finally scored. He's finally scored. Yeah. Fantastic, about time. Jeju! Well done! Okay, so that's the end of the first half, 1-0 City. Uh, Jeju finally getting his first goal on pretty much his uh, first important start. He's needed to make an impact, the boys made an impact, nice little slide into the bottom left hand corner. Huddersfield haven't really offered much aside from that. Uh, apparently it was a parried away free kick. Oh, God knows how that was a corner when it didn't touch anyone. But yeah, apart from that, it's been in the middle. Very, very slim game, but we've done what we need to do. Dispatch him 1-0, and as long as we get a couple more, which if we can replicate what we did in the reverse fixture, then I'll be more than happy, to be honest. What do you think? Oh, well worth being 1-0 in the lead. Huddersfield is staying offering not much. I mean, you can see chances. why they're in the drop zone. Yeah, they've had a couple of hard chances. Danny Ward's working hard for them. Thomas Thomas is a, a threat sometimes. But I think, part of the score, I think, it was, was it S. Brand or Grant? Stepped yeah. the ball into a bowler. And, and bowler crossed it into Jesu. And Jesu was a, was a death touch. I think it was left foot into the bottom left-hand yeah. corner. Really, um, yeah, he put it, put it away really well. Going forward, yeah, Cardiff looked pretty good, controlled at the back as well. It's 
quite comfortable, isn't it? So, yeah. Um, yeah, midfield three looking good. Winter's playing really well. I've been watching him. Um, certain passages of play is really, really doing well tonight. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, hopefully he'll continue in the second half. Hey! Harold Bonnet's Bobby, are they? Yeah. The Cardiff Sink! And Swansea ran away again! We won't fight forever more because of this day. Oh, that's a red! Come on, he's just lapped him, come on! Oh, 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 Oh no. Watch off this. Oh, come on! Go, on, Cowell. Straight through. Oh, my God. Oh, lucky. It's uh, oh, lucky. Arrow bonus for me, of me. Arrow bonus for me, of me. The shorts are the taking, Colwell. Ah, oh, lucky. There we go. Come on. Arrow bonus for me, of me. Oh, lovely. Way. Way. Go on, Yak. Go. That's yours, Ollie. Come on. Oh. Your own feet again. Lucky. Oh, God, well done. 20 seconds. Come on. There we are, that was a nice little win, wasn't it? Nice little flick from Jeju, we needed that goal. Bit of complacency there in the second half for the last 10 minutes. We really came to our own and we could have actually nicked a few more. Ref a bit cagey at times, did send off our goalkeeping coach, which was a bit ridiculous considering they should have had a red card. But yeah, aside from that, I'll take a 1-0 win. Could have been more comfortable, but we need to learn how to... Um, how to finish off a game, but ultimately that's going to come over time, so happy days, what do you think? Well, I thought we sort of saw out the game quite well, okay, they had a couple of forays late on, but uh, I think the last 20 minutes, it was um, it was very comfortable. Cardiff playing it round, Colwell coming on, Tanner as well, a couple of tricky runs sort of thing, um, O'Dowda as well, so yes, yeah, comfortable really. I think that's three 1-0 wins on the yeah, bounce now. We need to be looking at uh, maybe scoring a couple more, although it's going to be tough in the next couple of matches with Ipswich and the Jacks. But uh, you've got to be happy. It's a bit of a turnaround, oh, 100%. isn't it, since um, the despicable, was it January and February? Well, December and January, parts of November as well. So, uh, yeah, was it 10 points in the last four matches? That, that can't be sniffed up. I think we're up to 10th from the table as well, so you've got to be really happy with uh, with the results and um, it, with the performances, although I think the performances could probably be a little bit better, but they are professional. We're not going to see defence looked really solid in the sec second half. I think they had a header, but it was sort of put over the bar at the far end at the, in the family stand, but apart from that, they didn't really um, offer anything Huddersfield, maybe a couple of corners, but... Uh, Defence dealt with it uh, quite quite uh, calmly and easily in the end and uh, thoroughly worth the three points. And on to Saturday now, Ipswich Town, is it Broadhead? Yep. Key for more. 
keep we'll her see. returning. We'll see, we'll see how um, our defence the defence um, hopes with uh, Ipswich's uh, attack with Chaplin as well, scores a lot of goals yep. for them, so we'll see how we get on. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's probably going to be written in the stars to keep a moral score a couple against us, isn't it? It's, it's just going to happen. But aside from that, if you have enjoyed it, please remember to like, comment, subscribe to what you can support the channel. That'd be appreciated. Follow social media in the description below. Drop a like on the Water Football Podcast on Spotify as well. And I'll see you all next time. Au revoir.